my understanding. I'm going to call the meeting to order. I want to say good evening to all that are present um, tonight. And I am going to start, first of all, by taking a roll call of the members that are present. I'll start with our members who are um, members of the Audit and Finance Committee. And then we'll um, go from there to, so that we can take the attendance of all that's here. Bill Clay, 12. Uh, Paul Bergdorf, 23. Joe O'Brien at 25th, West Albany and at Lavendale. Dave Mayo, uh, 20, Latham. Uh, Mark Grimm, 29th, Gibbley. Lynn Lakakis, 8th, Albany. Ray Joyce, 13. Thank you. I'm going to start with the chairman now. Andrew Joyce, 9th, <coughs> Minnesota, Mr. Frenier. John Frenier, the 17th district. Mark Simpson, 2nd. Dennis Feeney, 28th. Good and Wanda Willingham from the 3rd District. Good evening, everyone. We're going to move right along here. We have a, a, a busy schedule. So we're going to start with the approval of the previous minutes. Motion to approve. Thank you. Motion to approve. I have a motion from Mr. Uh, Ray Joyce. Can I get a second? I got a second from Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Great. Opposed? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you very much. All right, so now we will move to um, one through four. I need a motion to table. I don't know. Any okay, all right. So one through four has been tabled at the request of the sponsors. Okay. All right, now we're going to move on to number five and six. Good evening, Sheriff Apple. Good evening, How are you? Good, good yourself. Thank you. Very good. Very good. We're going to start with five. Authorizing that agreement with the New York State Office of the Attorney General regarding the 2018 CAMS Body Worn Camera Program and um, amending the 2019 Sheriff's Office Budget. Madam Chair, this is a $69,000. This is a reimbursement from our awesome Attorney General for sixty-nine grand. It has to go back into the jail line mainly because we prepaid and then looked for the reimbursement. So it's for the body cameras at the correctional facility. Uh, does anybody have any questions on this before I ask? <coughs> so, so the body cameras, who wears the body cameras? Correction officers. How many correction officers of all, um, you have three shifts? Three shifts. Three shifts, so that's every correction officer? Every correction officer. So how many would that be approximately on a shift? Um, I think we put out around 70 cameras a shift. <coughs> And, and so, just uh, so they're kept on the whole time. Um, how often are they're they? not eight hours of continuous running? It's it's it'll start recording whenever there's um, inmate contact, whether they're speaking back and forth about something. It has to go <coughs> on. If they're just sitting on the tier and there's nothing going on, it does not go on. If something happens and they get up, respond and hit it, it it's already backed up. It pre-records up to um, thirty seconds. How long do you keep the records? Um, if there's no incidents or anything, 90 days. If it's an if there's an incident, indefinitely. 90 days. Okay. Anybody else have? Well, Mr. Cactus, since you brought it up, do you watch them to determine if there's incidents, or do you just wait till it is your well, we proactive have, or reactive? We also have question. other cameras, but most of the time, if there is an incident, are you, are you saying like a physical altercation or something to that effect? Well, just like, how do you know that it was an incident? Well, if we get a complaint and there's nothing documented, obviously we have a serious issue. So there'll be discipline imposed at that point. But other than that, they, um, they're they all trained. They all know how to turn them on. Again, if they if you come up to me and start talking to me, I hit it. But it also goes back 30 seconds prior. So, um, and there is periodic review as well. All right. Thanks. Are there any other questions? If not, motion move. I have a motion for Mr. Ray Joyce. Can I get a second? Okay, second for Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Very. Uh -huh. Opposed? <coughs> Unanimous. Uh, number six. I'm the 2019 Sheriff's Office budget over time. <coughs> this is um, these are, uh, basically interdepartmental transfers move into our overtime line. We do a lot of federal transports. We pick up their inmates sometimes in Elmira or Binghamton, whatever the case may be. These are reimbursements that have to go back into that line. It's through GSA uh, mileage and, of course, um, transportation of their of their prisoners, federal prisoners. All right. Any questions from the members? If no questions, I'll uh, entertain a motion. Motion move. 
Okay, I have a motion from Mr. Ray Joyce. I have a second from Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff Apple. Have a good night. Number seven. Uh, okay, so from who's representing um, DC White? Okay, very good. Okay, Mr. Levine, Madam Chair, thank you so much. No, I'm seven. not Commissioner Gail Hagen, but uh, she was unable to make it tonight. Uh, so, number seven. <coughs> We amended the 2019 Department for Children, Youth, and Family Services budget. It says administrative adjustments. That's right, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. This is uh, just the end of your cleanup for um, some uh, overages in certain programs. Uh, two specifically, um, looking to shift some um, some funds uh, into the preschool programming, uh, specifically for your your therapy. Uh, type activities for preschoolers and then the other of course is is a uh, shifting of funds from uh, your, your non secure or excuse me your secure line to your non secure that likely can be attributed to um, uh, raise the age kind of uh, effect okay um, I would like to ask a question All right so when you say non secure and secure we have out at um, <coughs> You see our department out there that is a non secure is secure uh, uh, if you're talking about cdyci yes. over right that is secure that is secure that is secure right so there's been a kind of a we saw a decrease in utilization of that facility in favor of non-secure detention okay so that's secure so um you, since you mentioned going for did you say from secure to non-secure or vice versa uh this would shift funding from non-secure no i'm taking that back this would <laughs> time out Re rewind this would shift funding from secure to non-secure and so where is non-secure non-secure we have at uh, Berkshire and we have um, uh, we just had authorized the contract uh, I think it's what is it, Cayuga uh, Steuben uh, Steuben thank you um, and I believe those are our two primary non-secure providers Okay. Thank you, Council. And so how many slots would that be? Non-secure, I'm not sure how many slots, but I can find that out very easily. So you're saying we're decreasing the, the, uh, um, the dollars because from you, the... Just utilization. Just from utilization. Oh, oh, just, okay. All right. Yeah, we're not decreasing the number of availability slots or any of that. It's just that one was utilized more than the other. Okay. That's okay. approximately a 5% shift, just so it's not a grossly... Uh, un uh, overused in that, but this is the cleanup for the end of the year. So, all right. Uh, are there any other questions from any members? If not, can I have a motion? I got a motion from Mr. O'Brien. I got a second from Mr. Bergdorf. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Unanimous. Now we have uh, Mr. Giordano, number eight. <coughs> Good evening, Madam Chair. Good evening. Good evening. It's nice to see you. Thank you very much. Same here. Number eight, we're authorizing an agreement with Better Health for Northeastern New York, Inc. regarding tobacco and e-cigarette cessation grant funding and amending the 2019 Department of Mental Health budget. That is exactly correct. Um, the um, BHNNY is an affiliate of Albany Medical Center Hospital. And again, this is part of Medicaid reform in New York State. We have been for many years working to try to um, erase the disparities between the smoking rates of mentally ill people and the regular population, uh, or the, the general population, I should say. Uh, and Albany Medical Center has uh, chosen to invest in us to enhance those efforts, because I think they see it as a way to improve the overall health of our community. So. Um, uh, this would start on December 1st, and uh, as you say, we seek a contract authorization and budget amendment. Are there any questions from any of our members? Mr. Grimm. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yeah, are we tracking uh, how well we do with this? That is to say, how many people were smoking in the beginning and how many are smoking at the end? Uh, so, <coughs> why did I know that you were going to ask me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> So we've been doing this for the last five years, and we have uh, quite a bit of data. What we've changed is that everyone who walks into our door 
is assessed uh, whether they're a tobacco user or not. Uh, everyone who is assessed as a tobacco user is engaged with the voluntary effort to work to stop smoking. The trick is, is that people, as Mark Twain said, stopping smoking is easy. I did it a hundred times. It's very hard to get <coughs> the definitive outcomes um, that you're asking for because quitting happens over the course of time. But we have uh, quite good data on people who have uh, decreased or quit in the, the previous 12 months. I'd be glad to. Yeah, I'm curious, because you, you track it from year to year. Because you're right, the well, goal is the permanent cessation, we obviously. We do aggregate from year to year, but with any individual uh, uh, case, we would be able to track it individually. Has that success rate improved uh, or not improved over time? How, how are you doing yeah. there? So the, the, the New York State rate for uh, the general population of smoking is about 11%. For mentally ill, it's almost 30% uh, at, across the state. We've been recognized as a, as a, as a stellar program statewide because we've started to move the needle on that. And I will just tell you that um, uh, this is low-hanging fruit because we actually, we actually are saving, helping people save, we're, we're saving people's lives by helping them stop smoking. Uh, I'd be glad to share some of the data with you off the top of my head. Uh, I, I can't tell you, but yes. So did you say, doctor, that you're 30 percent and the average is 11? Or no, no, no. The, the, the mentally ill population in general in New York State is smoking at a rate of 30 percent, while the rest of the population has oh. reduced to 11. Wow. So there's some disparities for a lot of reasons, not least of which is that tobacco companies for many years targeted mentally ill people and encouraged them. And, and I'd also say to you that we've had parents come to us and say, uh, Smoking is the last thing my child has, and you're trying to take this away from them. And we'd have to explain that we're just trying to give them a chance to live longer. But we do have data, and we are tracking. And one of the things that Albany Medical Center has insisted upon as a condition of receiving this money is rather extensive tracking. So I'd be glad to share that. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. Well. There are no more questions. Can I get a motion? Come on. I got a motion for Ms. Uh, uh, Lynn Harris. <coughs> And a second from Mr. O'Brien. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Unanimous. Thank you, Madam. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Mr. Giordano. And we are now on to oh, oh, very good. Uh, Mr. Belber. Number nine, everyone. Extending an agreement with Capital Newspapers Division of the Hearst Corporation regarding naming rights for the Times Union Center. Good evening, Mr. Belber. How good are evening. you? Good evening. Good evening, thank you. So this is a, um, a five-year option that's in the current contract of the naming rights uh, with the Times Union. Uh, they've been a good partner uh, for many, many years. Uh, they've expressed an interest to continue this. Uh, we are asking for this to be approved earlier uh, because of the amount of time that it takes if we did have to make a change. Uh, with all the size you can imagine, the signs and everything else that has the name of the arena on it. Uh, I look down at Mr. Perring because he's, he's somebody that I worked with for many years and um, there was a naming rights change that took place, uh, actually a couple that I've been involved with since 94 when I started, but uh, it takes a while to get these naming rights changes done. So uh, this is a good deal uh, and it's something that greatly helps our budget. Good. Oh, so this is a, okay. So this is an, an extension no. of the current contract. Correct. So there's five years, it's a five-year option in the current contract. Correct. That ends this year, and we're extending the five years starting and next, next year. Sorry, uh, Matt, it actually ends at the end of next year, mm -hmm. but, oh. but we're asking to extend it for five years thereafter, and to get that approved and extend it now because of. The process being so it takes a good 10 to 12 months to change the name of the arena and everything that's involved with it. <coughs> Mr. O'Brien. Motion to move. I have a question if I could, Madam Chair. Mr. We charge them 350, but we, we buy 162 of advertising. So it's, it's a net of 188,000, which sound, sounds like a lot less. Have we tried to see if anybody else would pay us more? Well, actually, let me correct one of the things that you just okay. said because. 
the 162.5 that, that is in here that we have to spend gets charged off to the events that come in. So the actual oh, events they, spend the money, oh, and they, they have okay. a budget that covers that. So we actually net very very close to 350. Okay. Uh, it's probably between 330 to 350 on an annual basis. But did we try to see if anybody else might pay us a little bit more for the naming rights? Uh, we went out to bid the last time, and nobody bid on it. Uh, and then about a month after that, we started negotiations with the Times Union. So um, given the fact that they're willing to continue what's been a good deal, uh, I think for the five years at least, uh, before we go to the next bid, which will be required, I think okay. we should take advantage of what we have. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. I had a motion from Mr. O'Brien. I have a second from second. Mr. Uh, Ray Joyce. All those in favor? Right. Uh, uh, opposed? Unanimous. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Bell. Thank you very much. All right, number 10 has been tabled. So we're going to move on to number 11. Okay, so 11, 12, and 13. Good evening, Ms. Good evening. So number 11, we're authorizing a correction of the tax rolls for the city of Auburn. Okay, this first one is for 360 Whitehall Road. Um, this parcel actually has a pilot agreement. The, it was coded wrong in the RPS assessment database. It was coded as a nonprofit. So when there was no renewal application this year, um, the exemption was removed. So it was due to the miscoding, um, it generated a tax bill, but because there's a pilot, uh, we're asking to cancel the tax on that. Are there any questions from the new? If not, I'll entertain a motion. Really? Pardon me? No, wrong. Sorry, that's my fault. Motion okay. 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 I got a motion from um, Mr. Ray Joyce. Got a second from Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Unanimous for number 11. Number 12, authorizing the cancellation and charge back of unenforceable delinquent real property tax liens on a parcel of real property. And would you do me a favor and, and explain you in your explanation what you is unenforceable? Unenforceable just means that um, we can't enforce a tax on the property because um, this parcel is um, actually a common area of a condo complex. So the common area doesn't have a um, land assessed value or total assessed value. This, the reason the tax ended up on this parcel is because it came over due to a transcription error on the delinquent tax list. So the delinquent tax was um, proportioned to the wrong parcel. Okay. If there are no questions, I'll entertain a motion. And thank you, Mr. O'Brien. Uh, a motion for Mr. O'Brien. Can I get a second? Second. Got a second from Mr. Ray Joyce. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Number 13, authorizing the refund of real property taxes in the city of Albany. And I just want to point out, this should be a refund in the town of Gilderland. This parcel is 300 Prout Lane, Gilderland. Um, this was a parcel that was split into three additional parcels. So you have the parent parcel, three additional parcels. When the parcel was split, the inventory got put on the wrong parcel. Therefore, the property um, owner has been paying tax on a a uh, barn and a garage that actually don't exist there. So we're just asking to refund the amount paid um, for the taxes applicable to the improvements on the land. Okay. All right. Do I have any questions from any members? If not, I'll entertain a motion. So move. Second. We got a motion from Mr. Ms. Lukakis. I have a second from Mr. Ray Joyce. All those in favor? All right. All, right. <coughs> All those opposed? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs> We're going to start with number 14, and we have the executive's office. And Mr. McLaughlin, good evening again. Good evening again. So we're going to start with number 14, authorizing an extension regarding the authorization <coughs> to convey a parcel of real property located at 443 North Pearl Street. 
Yes, Madam Chair, this is an extension that would allow the original recipient to close past the 90-day threshold that a normal resolution allows. My understanding is the individual had trouble getting title insurance through Old Heritage. Um, so I've had communication with him in the last week, which he has said uh, that the title insurance is on its way, so, so he should be fine uh, after this extension. That's the only change it makes. Very good. Very good. I'm looking forward to having um, um, someone here. Uh, Mr. Joyce? Yeah, was this, uh, I think, was this the property of the old laundromat, maybe, or what was it? I don't know what it was, uh, yeah. let's say, but it was some sort of industrial type thing, yes. It was an old cleaners. Is there any concern with Brownfield? Is there is there a reason why he's not having an issue with the title insurance? Is it? Uh, uh, my understanding is the title insurance actually wasn't connected to that reason, but okay. it certainly was a concern for us via the, during the conveyance. Sure. But, okay. Yeah. Mr. O'Brien, did you have a question? No, no, I don't. That's, I'm fired. Okay, if there are no questions, I got a, a, a motion from Mr. Ray Joyce. I have a second for Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Opposed? Unanimous. Uh, now on to number 15. Authorizing the advance of two parcels of real property located in the city of Waterbury to the Albany County Land Bank Corporation. Yes, Madam Chair, this is the 2014 liens that we foreclosed on that we're just transferring to, or authorizing to transfer to the land bank, and specifically to the city of Waterbury. If I have any questions for any members. Mr. Clay, you're going to have to go to the next item. Authorizing the conveyance of various parcels of real property located in the city of Cahoes to the Albany County Land Bank Corporation. Yes, ma'am. Same exact type of transfer. This one is just for the city of Cahoes, 2014 liens. Are there any questions? If there are no questions, I'll need to I got a motion from Mr. O'Brien. I got a second from Mr. Ray Joyce. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Unanimous. Number 17, authorizing the conveyance of real property located at 95 Morris Road in the town of Colony. Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, 17 and uh, 18 are, are, are related in the sense that when the legislature passed the new property disposition plan, they authorized the executive to carry a sealed bid auction for environmentally withdrawn properties. This was our first stab at that. Uh, we started small with three properties. Um, so two of the properties received multiple bids. One property received no bids at all, and therefore will be on the next auction. But uh, that means that we could close the auction for those two bid, those two properties after uh, we left the auction open for 30 days, did our normal advertising, uh, certainly plugged it on social media and then posted it on the website. So for Morris Road, we received two bids. Um, the bids uh, were hard to distinguish, uh, so and that goes for frankly both of these properties. Um, but uh, we made the recommendation that we go with the higher uh, bidder, um, who uh, all, whose bid also seemed to have a little bit more uh, uh, detail uh, in its um, in its bid. And of course, this is all informed by if uh, folks remember back towards the end of when we ran auctions before the land bank was created the county actually ran their entire auction process via the sealed bid auction, which was incredibly burdensome from a paperwork perspective, but we did learn from that how to kind of look at bids and uh, uh, judge uh, which ones seem to have the best outcome, and of course with those bids we were able to have our DGS folks actually go out and verify whether that the work was done. So we recommended these two bidders because they seemed like um, the bids that had the most detail and therefore had the greatest uh, um, uh, chances of success. They also had realistic uh, financial investment uh, outlines uh, in their bids, uh, which typically uh, indicates somebody who kind of knows what they're, uh, they're getting themselves into, which is especially important given the fact that both of these are withdrawn for p uh, potential environmental concerns. They're both uh, garages or automotive related. Alright, <clears throat> do we have any uh, questions from any members? <coughs> if not, I can make a motion. I got a motion from Mr. Clay. Can I get a second? I got a second from Mr. O'Brien. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Okay. 
Authorizing the conveyance of real property located at <coughs> 2 Thornton Street in the city of Albany. Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, uh, very similar to the last. This is just in Colony. Two bids. Um, the the higher bid uh, with more detail was uh, the one selected. Any questions? If no questions, I'll entertain a motion. I got a motion from Mr. Clare. I got a second from. I got a second from Mr. Raymond Joyce. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, um, as we move towards number 19, we're going to uh, just give you something to do with this all. <laughs> go into the adoption of the Albany County um, budget line. So, so while we do this, we will be doing it line, uh, excuse me, department by department. Is this, is this the same one that all the legislators Does everyone have their um, agenda in front so. of them? Thank you. All right, so let us get started. So we're going to start with the County Executive Department. Are there any questions? Mr. Grimm. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. This, uh, the, the decrease is 11,000 from what the County Executive proposed. Is that correct now? That's the number the latest sheet has? Well, well this, this reflects an 8% increase over the 2019 budget. Okay. Um, is this expectation that this 8% will cover the four-year term? Uh, there's, an, there's an understanding that there will be 2%, 2%, 2% in succeeding three years. <clears throat> All right, so that's 10, 12, 4, that's over 14% increase then. But this vote is only on the 8%, is that correct? So you're, you're voting on the 2020 budget, yeah. so there would be an accompanying resolution with respect to the additional uh, years of, of service. So the resolution would have to say you can uh, raise the pay in the succeeding years by 2% a year? Correct. Is that, uh, isn't that, uh, that would have to be passed when? Concurrent with this. The AOH, by the way. Okay. Because okay. It, it would have to be passed yeah. in this term, okay. uh, given the new term. Because the new term, term you, you can't do it. Um, so I'm, uh, are we uh, voting for an 8% increase then, or a 14% increase then? You're voting for, on this, on this tonight, you're voting for an 8% increase. And there, there would have to be subsequent action then on a resolution then? Correct. Yeah. That would be a separate resolution? It would be a separate resolution, but has to be enacted you know, within this calendar. At the same time? Correct. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's correct. You're going to see it show up on the agenda for the December 2nd meeting, so it'll be... There'll be separate resolutions for the electeds, including uh, yourselves, when we get to that. Okay. It won't be an all or none vote. Are there any other questions? If not, I'll entertain a motion. I have a motion from Mr. O'Brien. Second. Have a second from Mr. Ray Joyce. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. <coughs> All right, audit, audit and control. And now um, I'll entertain questions. If there are no questions. Is it anticipated that this would have a resolution as well? No. This is, this the dollar value you see here reflects a 0% change from the 2019 salary level. However, the, the question would be, is there an understanding that there would be two, two, and two in the next there year? No, but not at this time. But then you, so this would, in effect, if there was no resolution, this would be the salary for the, for the next <coughs> term. For the, for, the, for the full four year term. For the full four year term. Correct. Unless the legislature takes action between now. For the next three years. Well, four years. Four, 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 four years, I'm sorry. Yeah. So this represents a zero increase. Correct. Of the, the current the salary. Right. 
we're <coughs> far from me to suggest what does this do in terms of salary compression for the people within the audit and finance department who might necessarily get two, two, and two over the next mm -hmm. four years? Is it possible that you will have employees? We did not do that analysis. What is the highest paid employee in the uh, in, in the controller's office? It's one hundred and twenty-nine. Yeah, but we're we're, we're, we're leaving the line in, right? So one ten. One ten. So that would go to one one twelve. Yeah, or it's a quite a gap. More. It's quite a gap. But what is, what is the starting? What is the pay now for the, the current? Control? The current controller's <coughs> salary is one twenty-five eight sixteen. Okay. Just. The next highest, uh, there are three deputies at 110. <coughs> You're fine. Okay. Good. All right. You're fine. So are there any other questions? If there are no other questions, I'll entertain a motion. Motion, mm please. -hmm. I have a motion for Mr. Clay. Can I get a second? Second. I have a second for Ms. LeCaps. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Okay, the county clerk in the Hall of Records. <coughs> I entertain questions, comments. No questions or comments. I entertain a motion. Motion. We got a motion from Mr. Bergdorf and a second from Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> the district attorney's office. I'll entertain comments. Mr. Grimm. Yeah, I'm, I'm opposed for this, the reasons I gave previously last week. <coughs> oh, okay. All right. Any other comments? If not, I'll entertain a motion. Motion move. I got a motion from Mr. Ray Joyce. I have a second from Mr. O'Brien. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Grimm. Passed. Right, on to the sheriff's department. I'll entertain comments. If there are no comments, I'll entertain a motion. Can I, before, and if I could, Madam Chair, is this uh, an eight percent thing? Is there anticipation of a two point two also with this? Yes. Motion. I got a motion from Mr. O'Brien. I have a second from Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Page three. Um, page, page three. Page three. And that's probation? Probation. Okay. I'll, I'll go to page three, please. At the top of the page, you are on to um, probation. <coughs> I maintain a motion to pass without change. Mr. O'Brien, motion second from Ms. Lakakis. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Public defender. I'll entertain comments. I got a motion then. A motion from Mr. O'Brien. I got a second. Second. I got a second. <coughs> Mr. Ray Joyce. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Alternate public defender comments for pass without change? Motion. I, got a, I have a motion from Mr. Clay. Second. I have a second from Mr. Ray Joyce. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Unanimous. Law. Comments. If there are no comments, I'll entertain a motion. I got a motion from Mr. Ray Joyce. Can I get a second? I got a second from Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Right. 
Somebody say something. Hi. I said hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. aye. Okay. Opposed? Thank you. Unanimous. <laughs> Management and budget. Comments? <coughs> I got a motion from Mr. Clay. A second? Sure. I have a second from Ms. Lakakis. I got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. <coughs> Social services. Comments? Motion move. I have a motion from Mr. Ray Joyce. I got a second from Mr. O'Brien. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Unanimous. Nursing home, in the motion, comments yeah. on pass without change. Right yeah. I got a motion yeah. from Mr. Ray Joyce. Can I yeah. get a second? I got a second from Mr. Bergdorf. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Help. I got a motion from Mr. Bergdorf. I got a second from Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. <coughs> We're on to page number four. Mental health. Comments? Motion. Motion move. I got a motion from Mr. Ray Joyce. I got a second from uh, Mr. O'Brien. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Crime victims pass without change. Aging pass without change. And Veterans Bureau passed without change. So I get a motion on crime victims. I got a motion from Mr. O'Brien. I got a second from Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Unanimous. Aging. Motion moved. Got a motion from Mr. Ray Joyce. Second. I got a second from Ms. Lakakis. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Unanimous. Veterans Bureau. Motion moved. I got a motion from Mr. Ray. <laughs> Ray Joyce, I got a second from Mr. O'Brien. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Unanimous. Human resources and civil service? Comments? Um, motion. Motion from Mr. O'Brien. I need a second. second. I got a second from Mr. Clay. I got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Children, youth, and families. Comments? Motion. Motion for Mr. O'Brien. Second. Second for Mr. Coulet. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> we're on page five and we're at um, <coughs> Water purification and public works um, both pass without change. Motion. I'll entertain a motion on water for purification. Uh, Ms. Lakakis, motion. I need a second for Mr. Clay. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Public works. I got a motion from Mr. Bergdorf. I have a second from Mr. O'Brien. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. General uh, Office of General Services. Comments? Motion. Motion. I got a motion from Mr. Clay. I have a second from Ms. Lakakis. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Uh, Board of Elections. Mr. Green. Yeah, Mountain Chair, just uh, there's been a change here from last week. It, it appears that. Uh, passing without change then we're going back to what the county executive proposals were which was five percent for that's uh, correct i think it was 16 members did everyone get five percent in that no, I think I think mr mayo were, asked that question yeah i think there were six or eight individuals um in, in of the staff who got the increases right so uh, some got five percent some got two the rest got the rest got two percent and that, and that was all in the county executive proposal right which we're accepting yep all right 
Thank you, Madam Chair. Mm -hmm. Mr. Yeah. Mayor, what were yeah. the criteria? I asked what the yeah. criteria was for that. Yeah. I mean, I think it was 12 people. I thought got the five percent. I, I and 12 up. got two. Something like that. Oh, yeah. there, were, there were more than 12 people. I think it was half. Sean, do you remember how many were total? Yes. Um, there, there's a little bit over a handful here, um, and the commissioners recommended anywhere from, I believe, eight percent to sixteen percent. Yeah, sixty percent, um, and then also recommended their top end just stay at the uh, same level as non-union employees. So all the rest that did not get the five were given the non-union two percent at recommendation of. Uh, the commissioners there. Yeah. We didn't raise anyone from two to five, so that explains it a little bit better. Any other comments or questions for Mr. Bell? Motion moved. Okay. It's now to have a motion for Mr. Joyce. I got a second from Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Page six, and we are on the coroners. I entertain comments on the coroners' the department. Mr. Grimm. Yes, thanks, Madam Chair. Uh, this uh, this is like I think like a 19 percent raise, but it's for only two coroners because their <coughs> term. This has to be done before their term begins. Correct. So the, what's happening to the other two coroners? They there would be an understanding that would make them all even at this point in time. There's been some discussion. I know. Uh, uh, Corner Kavanaugh discussed the idea of creating a senior corner position. Yeah. We can't do that absent a charter amendment. Yeah. So we'll entertain that notion in 2020. So I thought, though, you couldn't change their salary during the term, and those people would still have two more years on their term, wouldn't they? You'd have to do it at the end of their term. You'd have to do it. So those That's two right. will make less than the other two for two years? That's right. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Motion. Okay. Motion. All right. <clears throat> I have a motion from Mr. O'Brien. Can I get a second? I got a second from Ms. Lacacus. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Uh, recreation. If there are no comments, I'll entertain a motion. Motion. I got a motion from Mr. Clay. Second. I got a second from Mr. Ray Joyce. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Opposed? I have three pass without change. Cooperative Corn uh, Cornell Cooperative Extension, Civic Center, Soil and Water Conservation. Let's start with Cornell Cooperative Extension. I need a motion. I have a motion from Mr. O'Brien. <coughs> second from Ms. Lacakis. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Civic Center. Motion. I need a motion. I got a motion from Mr. Ray Joyce. I got a second from Mr. Bergdorf. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Unanimous. Soil and water so conservation. Moved. So moved. I have a motion from Ms. Lacakis. Sure. I got a second from Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Clay. Aye. <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank Aye. you very much. Opposed? <coughs> Unanimous. <coughs> uh, the legislature. <coughs> Motion, I guess. Okay, I got a motion from Mr. O'Brien. Can I get a second? Second. I got a second from Mr. Ray Joyce. I got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Mr. Grimm and Mr. Bergdorf. <coughs> Where are we at now? Page eight. 
and we are at the contingent account. Comments, Mr. Yes, Griffin? Yes, Madam Chair, just to re uh, re reiterate from last week, I, the executive uh, put 775000 in that uh, account, and we are adding 325. That's $1.1 million. I just think that's too much uh, of taxpayer money to be sitting around in a contingent account, and accordingly, I'll, I'll vote no on this measure. Mr. Bergdorf. Um, my understanding was that the addition of the 325 was for potential consequences of the bail reform and raise the age. Am I, am that's, I correct? That, that's correct. That's correct. Now, we're not committing to that specific purpose. We'll you know, see what the DA, for example, or probation um, might come back to the legislature for by way of additional increases in resources. Okay. But I mean, I, I will reluctantly vote to approve this because I think we're going to have some issues to deal with. That was and, the sense of audit and finance. So. Um, ha however, I would really hope that this body uh, would not look to this $325,000 for anything beyond those those two purposes. Now, I, you know, that's my own personal feeling, but that's why I'm going to support it. Understood. Oh. <clears throat> Any other comments? If not, I'll entertain a motion. I got a motion from Mr. O'Brien. I have a second from Mr. Clay. Yeah. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Opposed? Mr. Grimm. Hospital and medical insurance. Mr. Grimm. Yeah, Madam Chair, last week I had talked about this and I expressed a concern that the uh, original number I thought was too much and my understanding is there's been a serious negotiation uh, between the executive branch and legislature and that uh, the executive is, uh, uh, branch is, uh, I think they can live with the changes. So I appreciate the uh, negotiation. I'm willing to support this this week. Thank you. No other comments? I'll entertain a motion. Motion. We've got a motion from Mr. Clay. I've got a second from Mr. O'Brien. All those in favor? Okay. Uh, opposed? Amen. Okay, these are individual <coughs> grants. Um, I, I, I'll start with the the bunny grant. No, what number? Not my New York. Oh, hey, revenue York. on page eight on the bottom. Oh, 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 oh. The Mr. Mr. Thalen will answer any questions on the three of these if there are any comments or questions. And so we were doing, we are doing, what does that stand for again? Better health. Oh, Jesus, two weeks in a row, you're <laughs> testing me. <laughs> Northeastern <laughs> North 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 Okay, if there are no questions, can I get a motion? I got a motion from Mr. O'Brien. Second. I got a second from Mr. Ray Joyce. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Unanimous. Uh, the Child Advocacy Center. <coughs> can, can, I get, can I get a motion? Okay, I got a motion from Mr. O'Brien. I got a second from <laughs> Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. Opposed? Uh, uh, any opposed? Unanimous. Okay, purchase of services for recipients. <laughs> okay, any comments or questions? If not, I'll entertain a motion. I've got a motion from Mr. O'Brien. Okay. I've got a second from Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Unanimous. Okay. Now we're back to number 20. 
on the agenda. It is appropriation of amounts contained in the 2020 Albany County budget. So just to explain this one, as you all know, you've just gone through adopting the, the budget. This is to adopt and appropriate the money into the budget. So you'll see it again in the main meeting. <coughs> yes, Mr. Mr. Bergdorf. Um, I probably should have started here, uh, but not knowing how this was going to end out. Now that we have made these adjustments, what will the tax what will be the effect on the tax rate not the tax levy but the tax rate so i'll 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 start with the tax levy this what you see here reflects a, a half a percent reduction in the tax levy proposed and that calculates out to about three dollar and 49 cents on the average tax bill per thousand so that's what, what the, will the, the calculator? What will yeah. what will the tax rate be? Because yeah. under the county executive, it's, that's, the, that's, that's the three dollars, three to four cents per equalized the thousand assessed value. Correct. Yeah. So what was he? Three point five two. He was at three point five one. And then the previous year, we've gone from three dollars and fifty five cents to three dollars and forty nine cents. That's the we're cutting taxes. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's good news. Okay. Would that be the headline? All right, so I need a motion on, the, on number 20. I have a motion for Mr. O'Brien. I have a second for Mr. Clay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. <laughs> Thank you. Can I get a motion to move? Uh, I mean, just say one thing. Thank you, Madam Chair. You've, you've done a wonderful <laughs> job. Yeah, you did. <laughs> So can I have a motion to adjourn? Yes. <laughs>